Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at 3D Connections new Keyboard Pro with wireless numpad. Uh, I've got it right here. It's been my daily driver for the last month and a half or so, uh, and I love it. So far, it's been my favorite keyboard I've used, especially when drafting and using CAD daily, as I have been from home. Uh, this keyboard has held up well. Uh, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the features I really like as well as a few things that I would change in future iterations. Uh, I think you guys are going to really like this one. And if you're looking for a new keyboard, I think this may be it. Let's jump into today's video and take a deep dive into the Keyboard Pro from 3D Connection. <laughs> All right, so first up, one thing I noticed is the packaging with this keyboard is really great. It's high quality, it's clean, minimal, and it gets all of the kind of key points across, mentioning things like wrist support, wireless numpad, as well as adaptable keys on the back. Sliding it open reveals the inner box, uh, which is also really well made and put together. Uh, pulling it apart, We've got the keyboard itself. You'll notice the wide or larger uh, wrist support along the bottom. Uh, this has proved to be one of my favorite features while using the keyboard. It really helps support your wrists during long days of drafting. The movable numpad along the right side is wired or wireless, uh, allowing some flexibility for your desk layout as well. The keys are really quiet but have a nice feel. Uh, similar to a high-end laptop, they are comfortable through a full day of use, and I've really enjoyed the customizable and kind of dedicated buttons along the top that will adapt and change depending on the software you're using, uh, as long as it is within the list of supported software, which most CAD and kind of word processing software seems to be supported. You'll also notice you can adjust or rearrange the two pieces to better fit your desk and office space, and personal ergonomics. You also notice as we flip the keyboard around here, it's pretty thin and has additional adjustments with being able to flip out those uh, support feet, adding a few inches to the uh, back of the keyboard, allowing you to get in a better position for those that enjoy the raised keyboard positioning. The numpad features the exact same kind of feet layout that are adjustable as well. So as I mentioned, I've used this keyboard now for almost two months, every single day, uh, working with either CAD, GIS, or general email and word processing work. Uh, and I've found that my hands and wrists uh, do actually tend to not get as fatigued or sore throughout the day. I think in part, largely from that large extended chin or wrist support at the bottom of the keyboard. Uh, another feature or uh, benefit that I've noticed is the ability to rearrange them based on my desk layout. Uh, I'm left-handed, so I do actually like to keep the numpad on the left occasionally. Uh, it also provides the ability to have that flexibility. If you're working in a smaller or a larger desk, you can rearrange to best fit your workspace. Now, one downside to this keyboard, as you can see, is it is quite large. That extended wrist support does take up some additional space on your desk. So if you're working in a confined or smaller, uh, say, cubicle or workspace, that could be something to look out for. Though I think in most cases you're going to have room for this one, especially if you've got your monitors a little ways away, as you probably should. You don't want to be right up against them. So you should have that space between yourself and the monitors to fit this keyboard. And with that flexibility of the wireless numpad, you'll have a bit of room to adjust. Now, another issue or concern that I've run into, as you can probably tell from some of the video clips, is that 
Uh, this thing does tend to attract, say, smudges and fingerprints, so if you're pretty OCD or worried about the look of your keyboard, over time I do think this is going to attract a lot of smudges and fingerprints, though the build quality and material is really high quality and will be easy to clean in the future as well. I wipe mine down every once in a while and the fingerprints and smudges do come right off of the kind of matte uh, eggshell type finish on the keyboard. As for battery life, the numpad is wireless or has the option to be wireless. Uh, according to the website, uh, you'll get up to six months unplugged with that numpad, which is pretty great. Uh, so far I haven't had it that long, so I haven't had the ability to test that. I also tend to run it plugged in occasionally depending on where it's located on my desk and if I have the available USB cords. Now, before I wrap this video up, I just wanted to say thank you to 3D Connection for sending me this keyboard over to try out. Uh, this is not sponsored in any way, so these opinions are my own and my own thoughts after using the keyboard for the last few months. I do really enjoy it and I do highly recommend it if you're looking for a new keyboard for your daily drafting and CAD use. Uh, it's not too pricey, it's a little bit more than bas a basic keyboard at about $129 currently, but that still keeps it around the price of some of the higher end mice from both 3D Connection or Logitech and around what you'd be normally paying for quality hardware. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of this keyboard. Are you going to give it a shot and check it out? Are you going to pick it up? Or if not, let me know down in the comments below what keyboard you're using and why you like it as your daily user. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video. Thanks and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.